Burger King just released their Halloween Nightmare Burger. Check it out. It is very gross looking. It's got a green bun. They got a weird black ghoul who's representing it, and it's full of three different kinds of meats. Burger King is actually claiming that this food item can give you nightmares, and they did a whole sleep study, right? Right, so they're claiming that they did a whole round of tests on this burger down at a sleep lab in Florida. So right. they gave it to 100 people, and they said that over the course of 10 nights, eating this burger before bed actually gave them nightmares. Um, but they haven't released that study at all. We tried to get a copy of it. They're not giving it to anybody. Okay, so Burger King did a mystery study that they claim actually proves that this thing gives you nightmares. Right, so instead of getting a, getting a copy of the study, we actually asked two sleep researchers whether they thought this could actually give you nightmares. Okay, well what do they have to say? Right, so they say that there is one way it could give you nightmares, mm -hmm. and that's because this burger is so freaking gross that if you eat it, it will subconsciously make you afraid. Okay, so literally just like looking at it and then ingesting it, that alone will give you nightmares, just the thought of it. Right. They really thought the green bun was super gross. Um, but this is all a pretty wild stretch, and this is actually not what Burger King thinks will give you nightmares at all. Okay, so the, the scientist you talked to says, if it were to give you nightmares, it would because it's because it looks so gross. Right. So what does Burger King say? So Burger King says that it's actually the combination of ingredients in this burger that will give you nightmares. So the lead <laughs> researcher on their study said that eating this burger actually disrupts REM sleep. So REM sleep is a deep period of sleep when you're dreaming. Right. Yeah, that's like dream centrals. Right, when exactly. You're in REM. Okay. Nightmare central. So they're saying that the ingredients are literally going to they're like proud of this that they're <laughs> interrupting our REM sleep by injecting us with nightmares? Yeah, they're super proud of it. It's a big <laughs> selling point for them. Yeah. Um, but the problem is that just disrupting REM sleep probably isn't enough to actually alter the content of your dreams. Uh, when I talked to the sleep researchers, they said that it probably would just keep you up at night and make you feel like you hadn't slept at all. So one of the researchers I talked to said that the green bun made him think that it was just laden with bacteria. Mm -hmm. So that's just that's just his opinion. There's no evidence that eating a nightmare burger means that you're eating bacteria. Right. Um, it's just usually when you see a green on bread, it's not a great sign. Right. Yeah, yeah. It's interesting that green can either be really good or really bad when it comes to food. Like a lot of a lot of green things are like, oh, your body's stoked to eat it. We got some leaves, we got some vegetables. But if it's like close to meat or something, then it's like huge red flag. You might get sick for the next month. Right, especially if it's probably just a bunch of green food dye. Right. Yeah. Which there. alone is already. I'm not. I'm not excited to be ingesting a bunch of artificial dye. No, not really. Hmm. There is some evidence that ingredients in food can actually disrupt your sleep cycle, right? Yeah, there is. Okay. So, so that is so that's not totally far fetched, but the idea of it actually physically giving you the nightmares probably not true. Probably not true. Okay. Okay. So this mystery sleep study that Burger King did. First of all, I would like to just point out that they forced a hundred people to eat this burger ten nights in a row. Right. That's... That alone is a nightmare. That's a, that's a living nightmare. That's a waking nightmare. It's a waking nightmare that we assume they signed up for. Um, yeah, is this a paid sleep study, or is this just a we'll feed you for 10 nights? These are the kind of things that watch you you we'd love to see if we could get our hands on the study. So if yeah. Burger King wants to release it, we'd, we'd love to take a look at it. Hey, the king, we want to check out your sleep study, buddy. Give us the study. Give us the study. I honestly was gonna eat one today, but they would not give it to us. They apparently are still holding out until closer to Halloween. I was very disappointed. They gave me chicken nuggets instead, which I didn't find comparable. Why didn't they just give me like a burger with a chicken tender on top without the green buns? They already have all the ingredients. But the green bun is so crucial. It is, mm. but I'm hungry now and I want it. Well, the next time they do a sleep study on the Nightmare Burger, we'll just sign you up. That's true. I will be patient number one, the English patient. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Not sure how to respond. All right, and cut.